Hey Cupcakes, it's Melanie and um, today is something new, like I haven't done one of these so I don't know what I'm doing so you got to learn with me. Today we are going to do a first impressions and this first impression has been out there for a while but I haven't used it so um, it's first impression to me. This is the All Day Shine Control Garnier BB Cream. It's Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector. Um, let me go ahead and read it. It says, combination of oily skin types face a large number of specific concerns such as shine, large pores, and uneven skin tone. It can be hard to find just one product that address, that can address all these concerns at once. So this is supposed to um, instantly make your skin look naturally healthy, even toned and smooth. After one use, 93% saw more even skin tone, blah, 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 it won't clog pores. That's why I've never tried this, is because um, I think they had a different formula when they first came out, and it clogged pores, and it's supposed to, it clogged pores, it has an SPF of 20, so this is what the tube looks like, it's two fluid ounce. This was, this was actually on sale at um, my local, um, Walgreens because they had a little date with beauty on Saturday they always do they pick a brand and they put stuff on sale for that brand and this was I think 11 bucks so it's pretty pretty cheap pretty in the medium so this is what it looks like I'm just gonna put some on my hands like that just, let's see it doesn't smell like sunscreen that's good I don't like it when it, when it smells like sunscreen so let's just go ahead and you see I have all these little red mar red marks, psh, psh, psh. Ooh, let me turn it around, yeah, the little red marks here and everything, and then the lupus rash, and then a little bit of scarring, so let's, let's just go ahead and put it on, boop, 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 and then just blend, you know, I'm the type of person that if you need to blend in something, use your hands. I mean, your brushes work good too, but if you don't clean those, boo, it's just not good. So, oh, I get right up in my eyeballs too. Just because, you know, even though it says don't get in your eyeballs, I put it over my eyebrows. Just, this is how I do my makeup. I can't help it. All right. So, let me get that one red bar there. Mm -hmm. Alright, so first off I feel like it does cover. It it does. It actually made my redness and my cheeks tone down a little. I actually like it. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing um, sunscreen, which a lot of the BB creams that I that I use, it let me just it, it looks like I'm wearing sunscreen. It feels like I'm wearing sunscreen. I get oily. It does have a, I have a little bit of oiliness going on, but it, it actually looks like it's controlled it pretty well. So, I actually like this. So, I'm going to do some errands. I'm going to run around, and um, I will update you when I come back on how well this held up. This is all I'm going to put on my face. I'm not going to put anything else on. I'm just going to see what the Skin Renew um, BB Cream, and this is in shade light to medium. Um, I'm just going to see what it does to my skin. And it, when I come back and I take it off, I'll show you if it actually stays on my skin or if it doesn't stay on my skin. Because I use a different BB Cream, and that thing is gone in like 10 seconds, and it smells like sunscreen. So, first positive thing it's it doesn't smell like sunscreen and it has more coverage than the BB cream that I use so I will see you guys in magic time Whoop. okay so let me turn that a little cupcakes it's been um it's been a couple of hours it's been like four or five hours let me turn it some more okay it's been about four or five hours and I have ran some errands. It's kind of hot and muggy outside. 
it's hot and muggy in here. You can tell the sun has been going down. So here are my thoughts on this uh, Garnier BB cream from Garnier. Garnier, Garnier. It's the BB cream. It is the SPF 20. I actually, um, I feel like it did control some of the the shine because I do get shiny when it's when it's like hot outside. And then the redness, it did control redness pretty well. So we're gonna take it off and see if it's still there because the other BB cream when I take when I wet my face at night, it's never there. And so I've been touching my face for um, all day. I touch my face a lot. So, all right, are you ready for the test? Hmm. It actually, it actually stayed on there pretty well. Like, and I didn't put a lot on there. I put like maybe four dabs, five dabs, but it stayed on there pretty well. Like. I'm surprised that it stayed on that well. As I said, my previous BB cream has, ooh, there's more. My previous BB cream stays on for like maybe five seconds and it's ridiculous. Like, I paid $15 for that BB cream and this BB cream is way cheaper and um, it is acting like it's a foundation. It's actually, and we'll see if it breaks me out, but I don't feel like it's, it was like deep enough to, uh, thick enough to clog all my pores or anything. So yeah, so that is just the BB cream. Look at that. That is just the BB cream. Just the BB cream. So first impressions, I really, 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 really am happy. That was a lot of release, but I'm really happy that... Um, I went ahead and bought this in the light and medium. I actually really like this. It doesn't smell like sunscreen like the other one did. It actually felt really good on the skin. It didn't feel like it was too heavy or too light or anything. So, yeah. So, if you like this video, if you want to see more first impressions, because this is my very first time, and... I know this has been on the market for, like, the first one was on the market for a couple of years, and then this one, the new formula, came out, like, last year, but if you want to see more first impressions, because I have a couple of items that I haven't used yet, and I want to try them, so if you want to see, if you want to go on that journey with me, let me know, hit the thumbs up button, if you're not a member of the Cupcake Nation, hit that little cupcake, or it's probably going to be big, it's, like, right over there. Um, if you want to become a cupcake, hit that button or hit the cupcake over there. Get yourself some frosting and I'll see you guys in the next video I make. Love you guys. Bye.